Hello and welcome to RetroBreeze! Today we're going to learn how to add box art to our Pow Kitty V90 game collection. You know, I'm actually kind of coming around to this thing a bit more lately. It's kind of quirky, but also kind of fun. It has a super retro feel to it somehow, which I suppose is appropriate. Alright, you need to be on the latest Miu custom firmware for this guide, and the link to that is in the description. In this video, I'm first going to show you how to activate box art on the V90, and how to add your box art manually. After that, we'll look at how to use Scraper to download box art for your entire collection automatically. For V90 box art, we want PNG images with a maximum width of 128 pixels, and they will be located inside a folder named Images inside the ROM folder for each system. Each image will have to be named exactly the same as the ROM file. So, for box art for Sonic the Hedgehog on Mega Drive, I have a ROM named 001sonic1.bin in the ROMs slash SMD folder, which is where my Mega Drive games go. Inside that folder, I have another folder named Images with a picture file named 001 sonic1.png. Basically, you need the file names of the ROM and image file to be exactly the same, including the casing. Here I've added a few box arts from my Mega Drive games, so let's activate them on the V90. Reinsert your SD card into your V90 and power it on. On the console list, highlight a console you added box art for, Mega Drive in my case, and press select. Then select the edit button. Scroll down some more until you see box art and press A. Now browse to the images folder for that system. This is Mega Drive, so the file is located in ROMs forward slash SMD forward slash images. Once you have the folder selected, press the start button. And there we go, amazing box art to liven up the games list. However, you might notice that the images folder appears, so let's disable that. Go back to the system select screen, press select, then edit, and scroll down to show folders and disable it. I'm disabling this for all of my systems, but you don't really have to. Disabling it will simply prevent the images folder from appearing in the game list. If you use folders, you can just leave it on. Now you can just repeat the process of hiding the folders if desired, and setting the box art path for each of your systems. You might have noticed that because we can select the path for the box art directly, you could actually put the box art somewhere other than inside the ROM folder. You could put it anywhere on your SD card. You could have one giant folder containing every image of every one of your games, or you can make a new list of folders with the names of the system with the box art inside. It's really, really flexible and you can really set it up however you might like. The reason I've specifically kept the images in the ROM folder is simply convenience when using Scraper to download the box art for the entire collection, which is what I'm going to show you how to do next. Browse to scraper with a k.net and download the program. We'll create a folder on the desktop named scraper and extract the contents of the download into that folder. Inside we'll find a program called scraper UI which we'll go ahead and open. On the first screen we'll be prompted to sign in, make an account or continue without one. We'll continue without for now. Check the are you sure box and click next. Scraper will now download resources it needs to work. This can take a very long time, so while you wait, leave me a comment below telling me your favourite game to play on the V90. Like I said, I'm still not 100% all in on this device yet, so hype it up for me in the comments and tell me what you love about it. Once Scraper has completed its download, we'll be presented with this screen here. We want to select Recal Box and click Next. Now we'll click the folder icon and browse to our V90's SD card's ROMs folder, then click OK. Check the Include Non Recal Box ROM folders box as well, and you'll see a handful of systems appear in the detected systems. Click next through the rest of this wizard and you'll be taken to the main scraper screen. The first thing we need to do is check the systems on the left hand side here. You want to make sure that the systems displayed are the ones that you want to scrape box art for. It doesn't really matter if there are systems you don't want in the list, but you definitely need to add the ones that you want. Mine is missing a handful, so I'm just going to click the plus icon, browse through the list and select the ones that I want. Make sure to pick everything based on your personal game library, and then click OK when you've selected all the systems that you need. The systems we selected now appear on the left side, but we still need to make sure they're pointed to the right folders. For example, for PS1, I need it to point to H forward slash ROMs forward slash PS1, which is where my PS1 games are on the SD card. You can click the folder icon and browse to the right folder manually, or you can just type directly in the box. I recommend double checking all of the systems just to make sure they're pointed to the right place. Alright, when all your folders are set, it's time to move on. On the left hand side, we'll select all systems. We are going to adjust the systems globally so that they will apply to all of the systems. At the top, we'll click on media. Find media type and then click the arrow until it says image. You'll only see two images in this big box above, but we only want to get one image per game. So click the secondary image, then click the minus button to remove it. Now, choose the type of image we want to scrape. To choose the type of image, we use the second set of arrows to browse through until we get to Box 2D. Actually, you can choose whichever you want, but I think Box 2D looks best, it's just the flat box art. In the box next to the output folder, we want it to say percent ROM root folder percent backslash images with an uppercase I. This is where the images that Scraper downloads to will be saved. ROM root folder refers to the folder that contains the ROMs to be scraped. 
For PlayStation, the folder is called PS1. So in this case, the images will be saved to the SD card, slash ROMs, slash PS1, slash images. Now we'll check the Resize Width 2 box and enter 128 into the text field. Then check the Keep Image Ratio box. Okay, we're ready to start scraping. Click the Play button in the bottom right, click OK and Scraper will begin scanning our ROM folders and downloading the box art. If you only want to scrape for one of your systems, you can click the system on the left hand menu instead of all systems and then press play. Scraper will let you know with a Final Fantasy jingle when it's done. You should now find your box art in the folders as expected. Reinsert your SD card into your V90 and power it on. As long as you've set up the pass like we discussed in the first part of the video, you should see all this gorgeous box art for your V90 game collection. You can now also set up any additional systems by highlighting it, pressing select, edit, and then setting the image path and turning off folders if you want to. And that's about it. Like I said, I'm kind of coming around to the V90, and I like the more pixely look that this theme has in particular. The box art and the game list definitely elevates the experience a lot. And alright, that's enough for me. Once again, please leave a like and a comment on this video, and subscribe if you liked it. Thank you very much for watching Retro Breeze, and I am going to probably go dunk my head in some ice water because it is so insanely hot here. Thank you very much for watching, bye bye.